hear about the case of Teodora from an organization in El Salvador. They need support from international organizations to get her out of prison. I decide to go to meet Teodora. By this time, she's already spent eight years behind bars. She explains to me what happened. She felt pain in her stomach. She starts bleeding and she faints. She wakes up in the hospital, handcuffed to the bed, with a police officer looking over her, telling her she murdered her child. All I can think of is how can we get her back to her family. I start to meet with people from the Ministry of Justice, the Legislative Assembly, the government. We organize actions with our members so that they can pressure the Salvadorian government and show that what they're doing is wrong. People participate in our Right for Rights campaign, telling the Salvadorian government that there's a need to change the law. I meet with the president of El Salvador and he explains to me that he was receiving us because he was sick of receiving amnesty letters. We're asking the courts to reconsider the sentence that they gave to Teodora. The decision could take a few weeks, it could take a few years. We need to continue to put pressure on the government. It was pressure that allowed us to meet with the president and we believe that it's that same pressure that will help change the legislation in El Salvador and get Teodora out of prison.